Hello everybody, how are we doing today? It is officially Rory's birthday, the big 36 years old today. So we are gonna be making a birthday dessert for him. Normally I would make this later at night, but it does need a couple of hours to chill in the fridge. So I figured I'd do it this afternoon and be able to put it in the fridge to chill before dinner tonight. Hello, Twyla and Christy, how are you guys doing? So we are gonna be making this dessert for tonight for Rory's birthday. Hello, Jill, Rebecca, and Heather. This is what he chose. One of his main um, requests was that I make something that is raspberry and something that goes well with a big tub of vanilla ice cream. So we are gonna make this today and see how it goes. It seems like a super simple recipe. I am going to double the recipe. Um, and so it's going to be um, in a nine by 13 instead of an eight by eight or a nine by nine. Hello, Andrea, Charlene, Alice, Megan, Amber, Michelle. Hello, Maggie, how are you? So remember you guys hit a reaction right when you start watching today and then make sure you share the post. I am doing so well, you guys. It is Rory's birthday today, he's 36 years young. Um, we've got him a bunch of balloons today. So <laughs> There's a bunch of balloons floating around the house. He's in denial of his age, so he keeps picking random numbers off the top of his head of how old he wants to be. Hello, Cindy and Sandy, Jessica and Renee. Hello, Susan. I'm glad you could make it. Hello, Kim and Sasha. Hello, you guys. I am just going to share this post really fast, and then we will get started. Like I said, this recipe seems really, really simple, which I like. Um, we are going to preheat our oven to 300. We are going to have to change temperatures halfway through this recipe, so if you're making this along with me, just keep that in mind so that you don't accidentally forget, because then it will take um, a lot longer to bake the second step of the the dessert. Hello, Cayenne and Janet, Eileen and Tammy Gibson. Hello, Azuzina. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing well, you guys. We make blueberry lemon desserts all the time, so I'm excited to do a little bit of a raspberry today. Sasha, I'm so happy you got it today. Hello, Paula and Becky. Lisa, hello, you guys. Happy 27th birthday, Jessica Hovda says. Rory, Jessica Hovda says happy 27th birthday. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Renee. Hello, Diane and Corrine. So it is my husband's birthday today. That's what we're making this dessert for. Um, a bunch of my family are coming over, and we're going to have steak and crab legs for dinner. Hello, hello, you guys. Hello, Nicole and Brianna. Hello. Um, so raspberry is one of his favorites. I think um, he probably would have said raspberry was his favorite for a long time until I started making blueberry lemon things and I think that has kind of surpassed his raspberry um, desires, but he does really, really, really like fresh raspberries off of a raspberry bush. Um, like I said, his main request is he wanted to be able to eat whatever dessert with a big tub of vanilla ice cream. Hello, Miriam and Devlin. Hello, you guys. So I have just shared this video. Make sure you guys do too. If you don't want to share it today, that's fine as well. Just make sure you hit a reaction down at the bottom of the screen so that you can get entered into today's giveaway, you guys. But remember, the more times you share, the more people that will watch. And the more people that will watch, the more giveaways we get to do. Um, which is always fun and exciting. I always give Pampered Chef stuff away. If you ever want to see what I give away, just go to my page. You can see um, what other people have posted as they've gotten them in the mail. Everyone is saying happy birthday to Rory. Yes, you guys, these look so, so good. Thank you for sharing, Janet, Sarah, and Jamie. Hello, Linda, and Share Bear, Macy, hello. Jody and Kim, you guys, everybody's saying a big happy birthday. Let's see the happy birthday boy, huh? You just gonna stand off in the distance? He's, he's looking and feeling his age today. He said last night at midnight he was already feeling older. So, happy birthday to the birthday boy. He got to lay in bed till about 11.30 today, so I think we're doing pretty good so far. Celebrating his birthday. Sure did. <laughs> Hello, Andy and Kayla. Thank you, Maggie. I appreciate it. Your shares really do wonders for this show. Hello, Tina. How are you? All right, so my oven is preheated to 300. We're going to get started. We're making raspberry streusel bars today, um, which there's a couple different variations of this recipe. What I like the most about this recipe is that it has a crust on the bottom of it that sounds delicious. Hello, Diana. How are you? Hello. Hello, Philip. All right, so we are going to get started. We are going to line the bottom of our pan. 
Like I said, you guys, I am doubling the recipe today. So instead of an eight inch square pan, I am using a nine by 13, but you're gonna wanna get some tin foil out and you're gonna wanna line the inside of it. The main reason being not necessarily for sticking, but just for being able to pull the bars out like this and being able to cut them outside of the dish and serve them um, in um, little individual serving sizes. Hello, Paula. So stick your tin foil in there. Make sure you have enough overhang so that you can pull the bars out without struggling. Um, that is important, even if you just put a small strip of tin foil down into the bottom so that you can just lift it up. Um, I would prefer you do that than trying to start struggle to get them out of your pan. Um, then we are going to make our crust. We're gonna um, add some melted butter. Remember, I am doubling my recipe. So if you um, just want to keep it um, as it is with an eight inch pan, an eight by eight pan, don't double it. But I am just going to say the regular measurements out loud, but you will see me put double the amount into my container. So just want you guys to know, so when you guys start going, whoa, you put two cups of flour in there instead of one, I know what I'm doing, I promise. Hello, Taylor and Cody, how are you? Hello, Carrie and Sue. I know you guys, normally I am on a lot later, but I wanna give this dessert time to cool in the fridge. So we want half a cup of unsalted butter. Um, you guys know I have been um, doing some more research about unsalted and salted butter when it comes to baking, and it really is important to use unsalted, especially when the recipe calls for it. When you are baking stuff, um, the fat content inside of the unsalted butter is different, which causes it to mix differently with your ingredients. So, unsalted butter today for the crust. We are gonna melt it in the microwave. I'm gonna throw it in there for 30 seconds, give or take, you guys. It doesn't need to be much longer than that. Um, you don't want it to boil over and you don't want it to separate. So um, less is more when it comes to melting your butter for your crust. So we need half a cup of unsalted butter. Hello, Candace and Heather. Hello, Laura and Tanya. Um, then we are going to add in our sugar, vanilla, and salt and mix them all together. So we want some granulated sugar, some salt, and some vanilla. I'm gonna just do another 20 seconds or so. Hello, Teresa, how are you? All right, so we are gonna add in our fourth of a cup of granulated sugar here. You guys know me, it takes a little bit to get my bearings in my mom's kitchen, but I will get there, I promise. Hello, hello, everybody. Make sure that when you tune in today that you leave a reaction on the post to get entered into a giveaway. Hello, Terry and Michelle and Tracy. Hello, hello, everyone. We are making raspberry streusel bars today. It's going to be delicious. So half a cup of melted butter in there. Then we want a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. So that is your crystallized sugar, not your powdered sugar. So make sure that you do that. For those of you that are just jumping on, I am making a double batch. So when you um, see me add these ingredients in, I am doing double of the measurements, I am telling you. Hello, Michael and Mary, Tracy, hello, everybody. All right, so we've got our sugar in there. We're gonna add some salt and some vanilla. I am just using table salt today. You want a fourth of a teaspoon of salt in there. We are adding our salt in. That's another really important reason to use unsalted butter so that you can control the salt content of your dessert. Super, super important. Then we will add in our vanilla. We want a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract here. Get my mom's little measuring spoons over here. Yes, that's what I was hoping for, Sherry. Um, my family always loves to take dessert home, and I didn't want to shortchange Rory, so I figured I'd double the batch so that he can have half and everyone else can split the other half. Nope, Candy, Candace, this is my mom's kitchen in Arizona. We're going to be here for two weeks hanging out, so that is where I'm at. Hello, Ashley and Heather. Hello, Buffy. I am so well. How are you? So we've got our sugar, butter, vanilla, and salt, mixing it all together. Then we are gonna add in our flour and make sure everything is all combined. And then we're gonna mix 
there, we're gonna press this mixture into the bottom of our pan and throw it in the oven at 300 first. So we want a cup of flour here, all purpose flour. Make sure you're not using self rising flour or anything crazy like that. Hello Francesca, how are you? Karen and Mandy. So we want a cup of flour. See if my mom has her leveling stick in here somewhere. I love our measuring cups come with our little level stick so that you don't have to use a knife or something like that to level it out. So remember, I am doubling mine, you guys, so only a cup of flour for you if you're baking along with me today. I am just doubling this so that there is more to go around for the family. Hello, hello, Wayne and Sarah. You guys, don't forget to leave a reaction on the post right now. Leaving a reaction is down at the bottom. It's a heart, it's a thumbs up, it's a smiley face, it's a laughing face, it's an angry face. I don't care which one you choose. Just pick one and push it. Doesn't matter how many times you push it, you'll just get entered into the giveaway one time. Woo! The Rowan flower all over myself today. So mix this all up. It's gonna form a, a doughy crust, almost like a sugar cookie type consistency. And then we are going to press this into the bottom of our pan, making a yummy raspberry streusel crust. I should not have used this little baby whisk, but that's okay. We'll just use my spatula and push that dough out the sides of it, and we should be good to go. A little piece left in there. All right. You guys would have laughed watching me at the grocery store today trying to um, push all 23 balloons into my rental car at the grocery store. Here we go. All right. All done with your cereal? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I like to, when I have to push something into the bottom, I like to take little pieces of it and spread it out through the bottom so that you're not ripping and tearing at your parchment paper or your tin foil to try and spread it out from left to right. You kind of just do little dabs all over and then just push them together to meet in the middle. This is gonna be a yummy crust. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, when Rory first initially found a recipe that he wanted, it didn't have a crust on it and it was a super, super basic raspberry dessert so i'm glad i was able to find one that had this yummy crust on the bottom of it hello jeremy how are you and angela good morning you guys so i'm just going to use the back of my rubber spatula here and just start pushing it into the bottom it doesn't have to be pretty because we are just going to cover this in yummy raspberry preserve and fresh raspberries so it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be covering the bottom of our pan so that our yummy bars have a base to them so that we can easily serve them a la mode with some ice cream. Just like that. Like I said, we're gonna bake it at 300 degrees in the oven for about 15 minutes. You just want it nice and baked up golden brown, but we will bake this mixture again. So under baking is okay because this will go back in the oven with all of the raspberry topping on it. So if it's a little doughy when you pull it out at the 15 minutes, that's okay. You are fine and it will um, begin or finish baking when you stick it back in there. Hello, Jerome, how are you? So we're gonna pop this in. 300 degrees for 15 minutes. Start our timer here. Where are you? Kingston, honey. All right, so we've got that in there, 300 for 15 minutes. You guys, vacation is awesome. Yes, it's going to be so good. So it doesn't, um, so it says, let's see if it tells me. Um, it doesn't. Um, si oh yeah, so usually you can cut them into 16 smaller bars or you can cut them into 12 larger bars when you bake them in the eight by eight pan. So 
I'm guessing it'll make about 32 bars if you make it double the batch like I do. Um, Carol, I would think that you could probably replace the raspberry preserve and the fresh raspberries with blueberries, blueberry preserves, um, maybe even strawberries or peaches of some kind. I would think it's pretty interchangeable. Um, the bake time might just be a little different depending on the size of your fruit. Hello, Brittany and Jamie. can't believe work is making me answer the phone while you're trying to watch me. I know. Hello, Christina and Eileen. Amber, hello, you guys. Okay, so we're going to let that bake. Once we take that out, we are going to use our raspberry preserve and our fresh raspberries and we're gonna spread them around and top our crust with that. While we are waiting, we are going to make our streusel topping that's gonna to go over the top of our raspberries. Hello, Carol. The cook time is about the same for um, strawberries as they were for raspberries. Thank you, Sherry. All right, so now we're gonna make the streusel. We're gonna add in our oats, brown sugar, cinnamon, and flour. I am doubling this as well, you guys. So we are gonna do half a cup of old-fashioned oats. You want the old-fashioned oats, not the quick-cooking oats. They are different. Um, the quick-cooking oats are very ground up and fine. You won't see, um, they won't be a whole oat in themselves. Um, they also have a very chewy, chewy consistency. So you wanna make sure that you are getting the old-fashioned not the quick cooking oats when you're making these types of toppings. Hello, Jamie, how are you guys? Make sure you hit the reaction down at the bottom of the screen. We'll be doing two giveaways today. So we have our oats in here. Now we're gonna add in our third cup of brown sugar. Here we are, third cup of brown sugar. It says you can use light or dark brown. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how um, how almost molasses-y the, if that's a word, it, that the dark brown sugar gets. So I stick with the light brown sugar. Make sure it is packed into your measuring cup because that gives you more brown sugar than if you don't pack it. You are so welcome, Jessica. Hello, how are you, Lynn and Carrie? So I am doubling mine. I got two thirds of a cup of brown sugar in there. Now we want some cinnamon and some flour. Cinnamon. So we wanna do a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. If you want, you could use our Cinnamon Plus that we have from Pampered Chef, which has some orange and some ginger and clove in it, which is really yummy. So we've got to whisk our oats, brown sugar, cinnamon. We're gonna add some flour in here in a second. I'm just gonna break up my brown sugar a little bit first. Yes, I prefer the light brown sugar as well. Hello, Whitney and Johanna, how are you? So break up my little brown sugar clumps before I add in my flour. So you want one fourth of a cup of all purpose flour. It does say to level the cup out, so make sure that you don't add in extra. It will make your streusel topping dry and we don't want that. So, one fourth of a cup in there. Here we go, hello Vicki and Hannah, you guys. Those of you that are just jumping on, don't forget to leave a reaction down at the bottom of the page. So here we go, mix this up. Make sure it's nice and incorporated. My brown sugar is clumping together, so I'm just gonna come through and kind of smush it with my rubber spatula so that we make sure that that brown sugar gets nice and mixed in once we add in our unsalted butter. Yay, hello, Abby. Glad you could catch me on your lunch. I know it's a weird time for everybody, not only with the time difference, but with me cooking in the middle of the day instead of at night. So I'm glad all of you could jump on, whether you're working from home or on a lunch break. So we have this all mixed in here. 
All right, now we want a fourth of a cup of unsalted cold cubed butter. Where did I put the butter? Here we go. <laughs> yep, where is everybody from? I'm in Arizona right now, you guys, and it is warm outside today, so I'm so excited. All right, so fourth a cup of cold cubed butter. I wish I could find my mom's cheese grater so that I could just grate this butter into here, you guys. So um, we have learned this trick in previous shows. So if you are making this along with me and you have a cheese grater, grate your butter on your cheese grater and into your mixture. You live in Montana, so it worked out for you. North Dakota, North Dakota, West Virginia, North Dakota. Look at all my North Dakota babes out there. You guys know I am from, well, I live in North Dakota. I guess I'm not technically from there, but I am living there. So I am just using my pastry blender here to slice through my butter. I wish it was a little colder, but I had just gotten it from the store. So I'm just slicing through it with my pastry blender to break it up into smaller pieces. Like so. And then we're gonna add it in here. And then we are gonna use our pastry blender and we are going to mix this up the best we can. Um, what's good about it, obviously it doesn't need to be perfect, but as that butter starts to melt, you want it to kind of evenly distribute with your brown sugar so that it can kind of melt and combine with that brown sugar, making the most delicious streusel topping for our dessert. San Diego, how's the weather in San Diego, Iowa? It's cold there, New Hampshire. Just got home from work. You guys, that's awesome. You guys are all over the place. That makes my heart smile, Colorado. Yes, you guys, whoever taught me how to grate the butter is seriously a lifesaver. Tracy's from Canada, hello Canada, and Texas, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Laid off at home, Jerome, so he's stuck watching me, Idaho. I am in a different kitchen today, you guys. I am in Arizona. I'm in my mom's kitchen here in Arizona. I lean better late than never, girl. We just have our crust in the oven. Now we are trying to cut in our butter to our streusel topping. I gave myself a run for my money because my butter is not cold enough. The colder your butter, you guys, the easier this will be. So even if you pull it out of the fridge and stick it in your freezer for for a little bit before you make this recipe. You won't have to battle it as much as I am where my butter is so warm, it's just sticking to my pastry blender. Um, like I said, another trick is freeze it or make sure your butter is really, really cold and then use your cheese grater and grate your cheese in there. It will give you the best consistency, the best mixture I have ever experienced when making stuff like this. This is my least favorite part. This is why I don't make pie crusts and stuff like that because I am not a fan of having to cut in butter. It is not my favorite pastime and not something I have uh, mastered yet. I hate winter too. San Diego weather on and off rain today. High of 62, 3 p.m. or 11 p.m. tonight until Friday. There will be rain. North Dakota here, east side. It's so cold today. Super jealous of me. I am here until February 10th, you guys. We are living it up here in Arizona until February 10th. My mom has had back-to-back -back house guests. So I'm sure she will be ready for a vacation herself when we all finally go back home. My brother was here for two weeks and now here we're here for two and a half weeks. But when she's got the warm weather, she cannot get rid of us. So our crust is baking. We've got about five minutes left on our crust, so I've got to get my streusel topping figured out here because what we're going to do is we're going to spread our preserve over our warm crust. We're going to dot the preserve with fresh raspberries. Then we are going to put this streusel on top and bake it for 30 to 35 minutes if you're making the regular size. If you are doubling your batch like I did, you want to do it for 45 minutes. The raspberry filling will start to bubble around the edges and turn golden brown. West Virginia is 29. Tonight and tomorrow is going to be negative 5 in New York. Burr! Hello, Mary Jo. How are you guys? We are just getting our streusel topping ready here. So I'm going to give my arm a break and I am going to pull the names off for the giveaway. 
So make sure that you guys have left your reaction on the post because now is going to be your last chance to get entered in to win. The last chance. Ooh, we got some music going on. All right. Let's pull the names off while we wait for that crust to come out. And this streusel topping is starting to resemble the coarse crumbs that you want. If you are like me, feel free to add more butter in than the recipe calls for. I love a nice buttery streusel topping. I um, never skimp when it comes to desserts. You guys know that. If I'm going to have a dessert, I want to go all for the calories. Arizona in January, February, not a bad problem to have. At least you wanted to wait until it gets cold. I come here all the time. So this is called a pastry blender. This is called a pastry blender, super, super handy. Um, and Pampered Chef sells one as well. I absolutely love it, super handy to help you cut in butter to your flour mixtures. I will show it up close if I can get it cleaned out a little bit. This is what it looks like and it's just thicker um, metal wires that help you cut into it kind of resembles two prongs of a fork if that's normally how you cut your butter in that is what the tool kind of tries to resemble is cutting it in with multiple prongs here so it is super handy for cutting in butter all right so I'm gonna pull the names off we got three minutes left on the timer. I think I can get those names pulled off in time. All right, we have 103 names for the giveaway today. That's awesome, you guys. Don't forget to like and follow the page. I will send out reminders and invites for you guys to like and follow the page if you haven't done it. Uh, make sure you do it so you guys don't miss a thing and you can make sure that you get entered into the giveaways and watch my show if you ever need dinner or dessert ideas on the fly. Normally Thursdays are for main dish, but I don't think you guys want a, a long show on how to eat steak and crab legs. So I switched today's for dessert since it's Rory's birthday. And this is what he wanted for dessert today. All right, here we go. I'm on my show, sweetie. It's daddy's birthday, daddy gets to pick. <laughs> I know, <laughs> like daddy is not gonna make the choice that he wants. All right. Yep, dough, bend, dough, dough blenders, pastry, pastry blenders. Eileen says, happy birthday. 14 degrees in my not 62 in my office with the fan blowing cold air on top of my head. I know you guys started to get it fixed, Susan. I'm sad it didn't stick. Everyone is saying happy birthday again, Rory. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so we have the names pulled off. I'm just going to make sure I go through and remove the names of the people that have already won this month. You know, keep someone outside. Okay. All right. Pull these names off. Here we go. Always takes me a little bit of time, you guys know it takes me a second to remember who won this month and who hasn't, and I keep forgetting to pull my list out before the show starts. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so the names are ready for when we do our giveaway. We still have a couple more steps here before our giveaway so I'm gonna set this up here we're gonna pull our crust out of the oven and we are going to turn our heat up on our oven to 350 you guys this crust already smells so good here we go so close this 
and turn it up to 350. Turn our timer around. All right, so turning the oven up to 350, super, super important. You guys, don't, don't forget that. So now we are going to spread our raspberry preserve over our yummy crust here. We want to do three-fourths of a cup of raspberry preserve. Pink the way you're doing, babe. Oh, you're trying to go to the pool? All right, we're going to scoot this so I hopefully don't burn myself. We want three-fourths of a cup of raspberry preserve. Stick this in here. This is where my measure on measuring cup would come in handy. I need to buy my mom one or two of them so that she has them while I'm here visiting. So three fourths raspberry preserve. What's good is this warm crust will help kind of melt this preserve and make it a little easier to spread across the crust. You guys can use seedless raspberry preserve if you prefer. I know sometimes the seeds are hard um, when it comes to desserts and trying to eat them. So it's a little over a jar if you are doubling the recipe, which I got another jar here. I know, it's probably the most birthday wishes Rory's probably ever gotten. Yep, so use the whole jar and then some. So use the whole jar and then another probably scoop out of another jar for a double batch. Definitely not shy with the raspberry. Like I said, it's one of Rory's favorite flavors. So make sure you really take full advantage here. We're just gonna spread this around the best we can. Like I said, you guys, this crust is not completely done. We just needed to kind of pre-bake it so that it will get nice and golden brown when we bake the rest of this for another 45 minutes at 350 in the oven. I'm kind of moving my body around the dish instead of the other way around since it is hot out of the oven. You do want to spread it while your crust is warm. It will help this raspberry spread a lot nicer than trying to stick some cold raspberry preserve on a cold crust. You'll end up ripping and tearing it, especially because this crust is underdone at this point. <laughs> Here we go. And then we're going to wash up some raspberries. And we are going to dot the dessert in here with some fresh raspberries. So I just got two containers of raspberries. You might want three. Um, it tells you to put 12 to 16 raspberries for the recipe. I'm going to rinse mine out here. Always wash your raspberries from the store. A lot of the times they have um, leaves and different things from the plant on them. So rinsing them off will help get some of those extra plant materials out and off of your raspberries. But it's always good to double check them as well. Um, just like I do with my blueberries, I always double check my blueberries to make sure that I don't have any stems of my blueberries on there. Hello, Kristen, how are you? So here we go, I got two containers of raspberries and we are just gonna stick them around here. Here we go. Just dot them around. My oven is preheated already to 350. Thankfully, we are in my mom's kitchen and not mine because my oven would take another like 30 minutes to preheat because it's not working the way it's supposed to these days. So I am just going to use all of these raspberries. Why not? 
bottom might as well. Throw them in here, fresh raspberry in every bite so that my husband doesn't have to go digging around to find them. You guys, this is gonna be so good. It already smells so good. That crust smell alone is delicious. All right, so got those on there. You guys, it looks so, so good. Four inches of snow this morning, Jimmy. That is crazy. You need to be somewhere in Arizona with me so that you don't have to deal with the snow. All right, so we've got our raspberries all dotted in here. Now we are going to sprinkle this topping over our mixture here. Kind of break it up. My bits of butter here stick in my hands. So just, it's going to kind of melt into these raspberries. And then you guys, when you serve it, you can use a vanilla icing if you want. So you can just do some powdered sugar and milk or heavy cream. Just whisk it up until it's the right consistency you want for your icing. Um, I'll do probably icing on half of it and then just leave the other half to be eaten with some vanilla bean ice cream that I bought at the store. Like somebody brought up earlier, you can definitely replace the fruit in this recipe for peaches, blueberries, um, strawberries, anything like that. If raspberries just aren't your jam, this is definitely a recipe that is a good, just a fruit streusel bar recipe that you guys can use here. So I'm definitely glad I doubled this recipe because it's going to be so good. All right, so that's it, you guys. That is the baking. Oh, no, Abby doesn't like fruit. Oh, no. So 350, we're going to pop this in there for 45 minutes. If you are baking the, the single batch, you just want to do it for 30 to 35. But since this is a double batch, it's going in for 45 minutes. You want it to be burbling on the sides with the raspberry. You want that crust to be nice and golden brown. Um, so make sure you keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn or you don't under, if raspberries aren't your jam. You like that little pun there, Brooke? <laughs> All right, you guys, we are going to do our giveaway now. That's so funny. If raspberries aren't your jam, yeah, that, that was just a little play on words. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna do our giveaway now. And we are going to pick the numbers. We're doing two giveaways today. So we are picking the numbers three and six because Rory is 36 years old today. So we are gonna do that in honor of his birthday. So three and six are gonna be our winners today. Yes, we love traveling, you guys. That's what's awesome about my job is that we can travel wherever all the time. All right, here we go. Thank you, Tammy, you are so sweet. So our number three, our third name is gonna be our first winner today. Number two and number three, Marianne Semple. Marianne Semple, you have two minutes to comment that you are here. Marianne Semple. Um, I think um, apples could taste good, but you, I'm not even sure if they really make a very good apple jam or preserve. I don't think I've ever found one, but if you can find a good apple preserve, I definitely think that it would work. Marianne is here. So our second winner today is going to be our sixth name. So here's four, five, and six, Candace Thompson. Candace Thompson, are you still here? Please comment that you are here. Marianne is here. Congratulations, Marianne. Is Candace Thompson here? Candace Thompson, you have two minutes to comment that you are here. No, you guys, my keyboard is not colored on, I promise. It is just a cover for me to protect my computer while I am cooking. Um, that's what I was thinking. I just think, okay, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh blankie, we washed it. Yeah. Candace, 
Thompson, are you still here, Candace Thompson? Um, I wonder how the apple butter would bake since a jam kind of, I don't know, I feel like an apple butter doesn't bake like a preserve or a jam does. But I would say if you find a good apple jam, Candace is here, congratulations, Candace. Um, I would definitely, just personal preference, I would drizzle some caramel over it before my streusel topping if I'm gonna do some apple because it would be so good. I'm trying to like Candace's comment so that it's there. All right, congratulations to our two winners today, you guys. Please message me your shipping information. I need your first name, your last name, your email, your phone number, and your shipping address. Um, make sure it's not a P.O. box because I can't ship to P.O. boxes. So make sure it is your physical address. Make sure you message me. It doesn't matter what page, um, whichever one is easiest for you to send a message to, whether it's my personal page, my cooking page, uh, my Pampered Chef page. Um, Riley Peterson is my personal page if you need it that way. Um, that might work, Susan. The apple pie filling might work. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I am going to sign off here and hang out with my husband, and I will see you guys this weekend.